How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to show you how you can get Safari on your Apple Watch. So you'll be able to have a full browser, a native browser made by Apple, completely official and for free on your Apple Watch, finally. Fully working, fully functional. You're gonna love this. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is make sure you have the Shortcuts app installed on your iPhone. The Shortcuts app, it's a native pre-installed app that's on every single iPhone. It's made by Apple. So you probably have it on your iPhone. If you can't find it, maybe you have deleted it, but no problem at all. All you have to do is go ahead here, open up the App Store, and then you go here to the search bar and look for short cuts there you go shortcuts and then that's what you're gonna see made by apple completely free so you go ahead and get it or just download it once again if you have deleted it all right after that's done we're gonna need to go ahead and open up safari because we're gonna need to get a shortcut which will enable safari on the Apple Watch. You'll understand how it works in a second. So you go ahead here and open up this page from medium.com. I'm gonna have a direct link in the description, tap there, you're gonna come to this exact page. And then you scroll down just a bit until you get to this section right here where it's already giving us the shortcut. So tap here on the icon. And then as you can see, it's just gonna open up straight on the shortcuts app browser. We have Safari here, appears on Apple Watch. Of course, we could uh, set it up manually, but it's just much easier that way. So add shortcut, as you can see, and it's gonna open up right here. Before we move on, just make sure to tap on the three dots, as you can see right there. And as you can see, it's saying show web view at text. And we're gonna need to manually adjust this specific point only. So tap here on text and then clear variable, and then of course we want a URL. And that's the website that's gonna show up, that's gonna pop up when we go ahead and enable Safari right here on the Apple Watch. Every time we tap on the shortcut, it's gonna already open up the website, as you saw in the intro. And I do recommend that you go ahead and go for google.com, simply because from there, you can go anywhere else on the web, right? So it is super nice, homepage to have in Safari on your Apple Watch. So tap on done and tap on done once again, and then just run the shortcut this very first time, just once, okay, allow, and then it's working. As you can see, it's showing Google right here, but of course we want it on the Apple Watch, right? So just if you didn't get it already, the way this works is super simple. As we enable this shortcut and as we activated it, from the Apple Watch, as soon as we tap there, it's gonna force Safari to appear. Just like, for example, when we are on our messages on the Apple Watch and we tap on a link, right? And then we see that browser, it's the exact same thing. So we are forcing Safari to show up with this shortcut. So this is really genius the way this shortcut works. So we're done already here on the iPhone. Now let me show you how it works on the Apple Watch. So all you have to do is press on your digital crown. You're gonna see all your apps. So scroll down until you go ahead and see shortcuts. There we go, it's right here. Tap there and we'll already see browser and Safari, right? So tap there and then it's gonna run, right? And as you can see, it's already gonna open up Google, it's always gonna work that way. And of course, from here, you can go anywhere. So you can tap here on the search bar and then tap here on this blank field. And of course, you have a full keyboard on the Apple Watch. So you can go, for example, to Apple, for example, and then OK, and then it's gonna bring here Apple and then go to search and then it's searching is super fast, as you can see, super responsive, it's fully functional. So you can tap here on Apple and then let it load. It's gonna open up apple.com and then it's gonna open up super fast. It's super responsive, everything works perfectly, as you can see. It looks like it was made for the Apple Watch, doesn't it? Every single text, everything is just absolutely perfect if you ask me and then it's all functional as well so every single page so if you tap on learn more for example it's gonna go ahead and load immediately of course it's not gonna be as fast as on your iPhone for example but 
it's pretty much perfect if you ask me uh, every single menu works as well so if you go to the top here and then we have here the menus let me go ahead and tap on the little hamburger here so then we had the menus I can go ahead and go for Mac for example let me see a MacBook Pro and then it all works guys of course it's not gonna be 100% thousand percent fully compatible but it's more than sufficient now I want to show you something else uh, of course you can fully navigate here so if you tap on the search bar you can go ahead and open up the previous page for example so we come back to Apple intelligence which we were before we can reload the page and so on so we can always come back to google.com for example and go to another website which is a neat, really nice way to go but I want to show you one final thing which is how can I get a shortcut for this how can I actually get one button which I can press and open up the web browser instead of going to the menu and then looking for all my apps and open up in shortcuts which is not ideal right let me show you how I did it in the intro of this video so just get your watch face your first page here on the watch tap and hold and then go to edit and let's go ahead and edit our complication so you can tap on a complication and then come back and then look for shortcut so where is it so it's gonna be right here there we go shortcut so tap there and then we can already enable here the specific shortcut that we want the browser so tap there and then we're gonna have it always on our watch face so then if you want to go ahead and open your browser really fast tap on it it's gonna go ahead and run and then in pretty much three to four seconds you've got here a browser fully working on the website that you want as I said you can go and add any website as your home page you can do that straight from your iPhone as I showed you but I do recommend that you do it with Google all right so that's literally it that's how you get Safari on your Apple watch completely official and free the best way to browse on the Apple watch thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you on the next video as usual guys bye bye